Hi everyone, so now you should have two sprites, one that chases another sprite, there's the first sprite that we made, and there's the second sprite, and as you can see, they should move around the screen. However, I've just had to stop because this sprite, sprite 1, was causing me some problems and I had to change the order of the code. Can you see here it says when the up arrow is pressed and what it should do is it should be pointing direction first because sometimes it makes it go a bit crazy. There you go. And I'm going to put the move 10 steps. So it should be when the up arrow, point in the direction and check what it is, move 10 steps and if on edge bounce. So that's okay now. Hopefully Sprite 2 is okay now, point in direction, point in direction, point in direction. So I'm going to make it full screen, and I'm going to see if it works. Fingers crossed. Oh, that moves, okay. And Tiger moves, and then hopefully it doesn't go through. Brilliant. Doesn't go through, and does the Tiger go through? No, fabulous. So, if this was your game, and you were the sprite that's being chased by the tiger here when the tiger actually catches you something might happen now most of us were listening to this in the lesson and they said well if it was a tiger and it bit you, you'd probably fall over perhaps scream ouch something like that so what I'm going to do here is on the sprite one I'm gonna make it full screen so you can see it easier on sprite one I need to tell it to do that so what we do is we get it to change a costume now here's the costume that it's got it's like changing like you changing your jumper okay you're still the same person but you're changing your jumper and I'm going to import another animal but looks the same as the one I was using so there's cat I use that one so you can see it's got two costumes now, and you might be able to see it changing. It looks like he's walking as I'm clicking from one to the other. So I'm going to edit this. Right, so I'm going to have it so that the cat falls on the floor and says, ouch, something like that. So I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to rotate it, perhaps, so it's on its back, perhaps a little bit more, like that. And then I'm going to move it down, because when I try to type in text it goes above it in the middle there you could just handwrite it but I would prefer to type it because my handwriting is terrible so there's ouch with an exclamation mark and I'm gonna put a speech mark around it see I clicked on the paintbrush so coming out of there ouch a speech mark and maybe because he's been bit by a, a tiger I might put a little bit of blood on his eye or something like that to make it a little bit disgusting. Okay, so now if I make this screen bigger, you will see. No, I can't make the screen bigger now. It's a bit small. You can see it changes from that to that. If you look at the screen on the right, it changes from that to that. So when sprite one, or I could change that to cat, you see I would change the name of it. I might change the name of the tiger that to a tiger as well. Tiger. Okay, so when the cat sprite gets caught by the tiger sprite, what we want to do is to get it to change from oops no cat one change from costume one to costume two. Costume one to cat one B. Okay, so how do we do that? Right, so as always, I need to make sure I'm clicked on the right sprite on the script. I'm going to have a control. And when the game starts, it is when the green flag is clicked. So do we want to do this for the whole of the game? Forever in the game? Yeah? Okay. And remember what we used here, forever if. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to put that in there like that so that little piece of codes in there and forever if something happens change the costume okay so i wonder what we could do there 
So forever if sprite, the tiger sprite is touching the cat sprite. So is that motion? No. Is it sensing? No. Oh, wait a minute. If it's touching, here we go. So I'm going to pop that in there. And then I'm going to pull the, the toolbar down and say if it is touching the tiger sprite. So then, what do I want to do with that then? Wait a minute, there are people here. I'm just going to stop talking for a moment. What piece of code do I need to put in next? Have a think. Okay, so we have a piece of code. The people have gone now. We have a piece of code that tells it to change from costume one to costume two. Is that movement, motion? No. Is it how it looks? Well, let's have a look. Trial and error. Ah, look at these here, the first ones. Switch to costume or next costume. So I'm going to get that one there, and I'm going to pop it in there. So it's switched to costume. In it goes. Let me check that it's the right costume. Switch to costume cat B. Cat 1B. Is that the correct one? Cat 1B? Yep. Okay. So now what we do, what we should always do, is try it out. I'm going to make the screen full screen. And then you've got, you can see the cat's moving around. The tiger's chasing him. The tiger can't go through the platforms. Oh, yes it can because I didn't do what? Yeah, click the green flag. So it's going. The tiger's chasing him, chasing him, chasing him. And then there he goes. He says, ouch. You can't read it, but you can see that he's fallen on his back. So I'm going to come out of that. And I know that it works. Okay, trial and error. Okay, so hopefully everybody will get to do that in the next lesson. And then I'm going to give you another video to make the game even better. So anybody who's finished that can do the next thing. All right. Good luck.